Hey guys, we're back with another episode of Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planeswalkers 2015, and I, I said 2014 when I fucked up a second ago, but it's not. We're in 2015. It actually is the year 2015 now. 215. Oh, 2015, actually. Wow. It is not the year 215. <laughs> the Roman Empire has been long dead. It is not the year 215. All right. I sorry. I get confused with those two numbers specifically a lot. So I have yeah, sure. It's just a rare oh. opportunity that we get to celebrate being in the year that it is and playing that year. Right yeah, hand. yeah. It's very rare. I wonder when twenty sixteen is coming out. <laughs> the year or the game? Probably June. <laughs> the, the, the year. year the year in yeah. June. Yeah, I, I, I wonder when two thousand sixteen is coming out. Yeah, 2015 sucks so far. Let's just get to 2016 already. Yeah, it should be like leap years. You just kind of like randomly throw in a new year sometimes. That's a good idea, Completely yeah. Completely arbitrary. Oh, we woke up today. Sorry, it's uh, it's 2017 now. We no. just skipped yeah, 16. They could do it like daylight savings time, you know? Like, like, hey, we just skipped a year. You're one year closer to retirement. You're welcome. But then next year you go back two years. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's actually the rolling 20s. Oh, no, I can't Welcome handle this time everybody. stuff, man. <laughs> the prohibition is in full swing. <laughs> it's a good, uh, you know, 1920s announcer voice. Thank you, I try. Yeah, that's my uh, that's my goal at all times, I think, is to be the 1920s announcer, man. It's a good guy to be, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree. Dude drinks a lot, though. Yeah. Puts uh, on a good which one is... face, but is it one singular he? Guess I'll go with this. Oh, the the announcer voice, like he just is one dude. Yeah. Uh, okay. He's at he, the he race track. All the... Yeah. The rice track. The rice, He's at track? The rice track. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, Chinese Dota. Wow. What? No, that's called racing. Farming wow. is called racing. Wow. <laughs> Oh man! Chinese Sorry, people Chinese. Are it was a term popularized people. by a Chinese Dota caster. You guys can all suck my balls. Man, that's okay. Oh, why'd you kill that? I don't, don't want to put out a blister beetle. Isn't that enough? It's yeah, enough, that's fair. Enough stuff. Enough rough stuff. I wish I had enough, enough stuff. Enough rough stuff. Though? What really is enough? That's a good question. I don't think the world knows. The world is not enough. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's blowing my mind, man. Fuck it. What's a goblin bush? What are you kicking? Again? I just killed that. Yeah, I got another one. Stop oh, that. you kicked it. You kicked mm -hmm. it right in the butt. It has been not thoroughly that. kicked. You only attacked with one of them. Yeah, he should attack with the other one. You should hit me with it. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Oh. <laughs> nerd. Yeah, what a nerd. Because see, if Austin blocked that, then you both would have lost the creature. I ain't gonna do that. Dude, mm. we should have gone to AGDQ with Magic 2015. We could have speed run, speed <laughs> ran a match. And then done like 40 minutes of bullshit at the end, just for no reason. <laughs> that would actually be hilarious. And we'd get kicked out of AGDQ forever. Be forever? Weird. That's pretty... I, I think so it would be forever. For all you, ever's? Yeah, did you did you actually know that diamonds are forever? Uh, They're also the girl's best friend, and also Superman can make them from coal. Mm -hmm. That's a lot They're of specific extremely rare. I'm unsure about yep. all. What is this? Also, card? you put them in the in the bottom of the lightsaber, you get a white beam. I think. Mm -hmm. beam. We also started from the bottom. Now we're here. Where are we? Here. Uh, started from the bottom. Now the whole team fucking here. Wait, where is here? It's there. Not the bottom. Mm -hmm. This is all the information we've been given. Okay. I understand that. Probably. I return to favor. Yeah, that's fair. What are you, Tusk now? <laughs> I guess. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Skyrath, mate. Okay, that was unnecessary, though, actually. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if we actually ever mentioned this when it was going on for the most part, but did you guys, like, buy anything for the Steam Winter Sale? I didn't. Well, you know, that's true. I bought South Park. That was it. I bought a couple things, I think, but I don't remember what they were, so... Yeah, I'm not sure I bought anything. The deals this year were so shitty. 
They're Where's mostly it? just like, here's a bunch of AAA games for 25% off that you can generally get for less than that anytime you want. Yeah. And maybe yeah. there's some very specific ones that were very good, but I guess I owned all of those already, so I didn't have to worry about it. The South Park was pretty good, wasn't that? It was like 10 bucks for South Park? Yeah, it was a good deal. That's why I've been... I, I told myself I was going to buy South Park once it was reasonably priced. Yeah. South Park. It's a good game, actually. I, I honestly thought that was a pretty good game. I've heard it was going to... I didn't, haven't heard any bad things about it besides the fact that it's a little short. Other than that. Yeah. I think it's I. I. It's I get to... Whoa. Yep. It's like a reference to like this 90s... Don't do that. No, Nick, for fuck's sake, man. Like, the, again, the only thing that can deal with the fucking thing on the board right now. He could have killed Austin's creature, though. No! Yeah, but Spite, though. Of course not. Yeah. What's Spite? Uh, uh, I think it's that's like that a MOBA, but you drink. spelled it wrong. Yeah. No. Good old Spite. So, speaking of a drink that rhymes with Spite... Um, I went to uh, Five Guys earlier today to enjoy a nice Five Guys burger and fries. And fries. And fries. Uh, and I went to their soda machine, and I was greeted by... Were there only four guys? There were only four. It was really dumb. Whoa. Um, no. <laughs> there was a soda machine, and it had a little... It was a touch screen. You could touch it. You could you boop, oh. touch it, and you picked a drink. And I was, I was like, this is new to me. I don't understand what's happening. It only had one nozzle, too, so it was like a... Did you Crazy. get one of those Coke Your Way machines that lets you combine drinks? I, I don't know if I had the option. I mean, I probably could have combined. I don't, I don't know, man. But, but I all I know is that I went into Sprite, and I was like, I'm going to have some Sprite. Went and I went Sprite. into Sprite, and there were multiple choices for Sprite. And I don't mean Diet Sprite. The Diet Sprite was a whole other option. Like It was like Orange Sprite, Cherry Sprite, Vanilla Sprite. That was weird. I didn't know if that, I wasn't going to try that. Vanilla they, Sprite? Yeah, that one was weird. I, I strayed from that one. I was, I was not feeling it. Did um, you go but, into Vanilla Sprite and customize it further? I don't know, maybe. Like exchange the the Sprite part with some other drink? <laughs> maybe, I don't know. It was probably van it was vanilla Coke, I don't know. But anyway, they had peach Sprite, which blew my mind away into the next dimension. Uh, the peach because dimension. I love peaches. And the peach, like peach Sprite too. was real good. It's exactly how it sounds it would taste. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I was very happy. Then I was surprised. I didn't, I've never seen anything like that before. That sounds interesting. Happy I am wouldn't... surprised. You know, I, I wouldn't trust a machine that, like, has all the... I assume it was all at a one little nozzle, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, see, because, like, then you get some mixing that is not enjoyable. I, I just remember this one experience I had where I went to get a cup of water from a McDonald's, and then, you know, they have the little thing out of the same nozzle of, like, Coke or whatever for the water, and I put it in without even noticing, and, like, my water was, like, a severely watered-down Coke, <laughs> and it was disgusting. It was it was really gross. These are all kind of, you know, acidic Coke flavors or, like, soda flavors, so I don't think yeah, it's going to be as true. bad. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I think Whatever. when you're drinking, like, any variety of sugar drink, I don't think having a slightly tinged version of another one is going to really affect it that much. Yeah. Although I see your point. I mean, if there could be other nozzles, that would be even better. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know. It, it, I didn't notice any... I, I feel like they would have probably thought of that, and it, since it's a very seemingly new machine. Um, so I'm assuming it has some kind of countermeasure to prevent that. You think um, I'm beyond blocking that shit, huh? Oh wow! You blocked that. You blocked it so hard. Are you wild card this round, Nick? No, I did wild card. I think last I game. I swear so. to God, if you play goddamn Inferno Titan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna do? Well, I mean, Nick's gonna kill it next turn because you know that's what he does. But <laughs> the second I, I actually when that turn began, I counted your land. I was like, he has five land. He's gonna play a land in Inferno Titan. That's what's gonna happen here. Because that always happens. <laughs> yeah. When, when a magic game starts, it is just a countdown until Rob puts out Inferno Titan. Yeah. That's how magic works. Well, and then I'm at 11 fucking health because I'm against two people. 11 fucking For health. For some reason, I don't know why. It's not like Austin is super weak or something. Well, my card, I, I couldn't but use it. Nick wants my... to kill me. Play well, it enters the battlefield or attacks. It deals three damage divided any way you choose. <laughs> I don't understand Fuck why you guys that. have such... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, fine, I guess. 
Whatever, guys. Rob, that card is banned? It's I don't really know broken. <laughs> it is literally not broken at all. It, it, I'm actually at the point now where I don't think that card is in any way broken. You guys are little crybabies. Because that card is absolutely not broken Completely in any way, shape, or form. broken. I don't have any land, guys. Yeah. Well, I don't have any health, so... That's fine, Rob. You're, you're cool. All right. Why would you do that? Because I don't like the card that you have, and I know you won't block this. What? <laughs> I know you won't block this. What if I did? Then I would be surprised. You're not going to block it. Your spite is not strong enough to block it. Just, oh, okay. <laughs> you're not going to block I know you're not going to block it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can't fool me. I'm, there's I, another reason. I wanted to really do it, and I could get away with it, but there's another reason that I'm not going to, and it's not because I just don't want to lose it. Oh, all right. Playing the, <sighs> in that game. We lost. Why? Kill Rob. Yeah. <laughs> I'm clearly in the most advantaged position oh, shit, right that card now. is broken. Let's, <laughs> let's make sure that everybody uses all of their kill cards against every single one of my 1-1 one, one goblin creatures. Let's do that. All right, I like Rob's plan. Let's do what he just said. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Grave Digger. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I don't like that card. Good thing that's just creatures and not wait freaking... Wait a tick. Death I remember. Touch. I remember you. In the mountains. Shout out to those people who get that joke. In the mountains. There's like three of them. The mountains? Yeah, in the mountains. There are actually, I think, a lot more than three mountains, I'd say. Very <laughs> several more mountains than three. Yeah, there's definitely... I, I've seen probably more than three in my life, actually. I've walked yeah. on more than three You guys are life. crazy. Yeah. I lost Nick, the game of Dota. I mean, if there are three, Nick lives on one of them. Right, so where are the other two? I know Mount Everest is a thing because people keep dying yep. on that for some reason. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why people do oh, that. Mount Fuji. Yeah, that's the other oh, one because the the pictures and all the an uh, animes. Mount <laughs> Fuji photo. Whoa. Yeah. Wait, you don't know why they die on Mount Everest? Because it's real cold there. Yeah. No, I know that, but I don't know why people fucking do it. Because they're. They need the, to why do people something. skydive? Why do people? I don't know, scuba dive in really dangerous places. <laughs> they gotta prove that they're the toughest known to man and they're stronger than nature, obviously. Yeah. So strong. Oh my god. Ooh, so strong. <sighs> we lost. Ooh, so yeah. strong. I haven't drawn any land. It makes me very sad. Oh, what was all that about just now? Oh, that was your cards you picked, okay. What about what? Nothing. Uh-oh. Somebody's cheeky. Cheeky wiggy. I'm dead. I don't care. You're fine. You just took out his good card. Yeah. That's right. I still have death touch. It's true. I'm just going to go out with a bang. Or I with a fireball. Go out bop getting banged. Bop. Bangy. Miggy diggy. That's an order line joke, isn't it? I, I mean, see. it's a Kid Rock joke, really, when he sang it. Well, any Kid Rock joke is going to be a Northern Lion joke, let's be honest. It's an excellent point. <clears throat> I think eventually he'll assimilate all of the cultural references in the entire world if he makes enough Isaac episodes. You're probably right. Yee. Yee. I don't get it. No, you're going to be surprised. I guess I will. Yeah. This the surprise is I'm fucking stupid and I forgot oh. about things. <laughs> uh, just, I don't know why my brain does this during magic, but sometimes I'll just like really focus on one card, and uh, that card was your one one death touch. And for some reason, I thought that was the only card that could feasibly block that, um, which is not true. Uh, turns mm. out. And so I lost my creature, and you did not lose anything. So. In before Rob has another Inferno Titan. <laughs> I'm only allowed to have one, but he's broken. Don't worry. Well, yeah, he's You're in the graveyard. He got back. He can't come back, actually. He will come back. Oh, that one's back. They yeah. always do. Why is that one back? Why not? Back again. Well, Shady's I mean, back. Hot soup. Something's hot, and it's made of soup. Hot soup? It's your butt. 
Yeah, you're probably right. Ooh. Hot butt soup. Hot butt soup. Dude, that's nasty. <laughs> I know. That's that so does bad. sound pretty gross, yeah. That's the nastiest hot butt soup I've ever heard of in my life. Yeah, not the guy with, you know, 27 health. Don't worry about don't worry about him. Just let's go uh 2v1 on Rob. That's fine. What's Austin we'll doing? He do that me every last game. time. Yeah. That's, that's cool. How many freaking lands do I lost? Oh, dude, a land. I won. Wait, he won. Why? I won. Oh, yeah. he's got the angel thing. I got Bane Slayer Angel. He slays Bane. So, I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say this is where, Nick, you draw flesh to dust on the next turn, right? I mean, ideally. I can't guarantee it. I can guarantee it. I'm the guy from that... Uh, what is it? What does he sell? Suits? Yeah, suits. He sells suits. He likes the way yeah. you look. Yeah. I, he knows he all about it. 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 Yeah. He definitely guarantees it. You're going to love the way that you look at me. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's commercial. A, <laughs> right, that's, 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 <laughs> You're going to love the way you look at me. I love you. <laughs> Drops the mic, walks off stage. <laughs> That'd be a creepy message for the Burlington Coat Factory, I think. But, you know. I love you. <laughs> oh, disaster. I'm in this deep. I mean, if I stop attacking Rob, I'm only going to hurt myself right now. Probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See you later. It's all right. I'll just, you know. I, mean, I, I can just, get anything I can... strong. You're obviously going to target me with it, not Austin. So I've made my own I bed just, now. Uh, I could just spectate the next match of Magic if you guys want. <laughs> yeah, a little bit easier. Oh, that wouldn't be fun at all. Can I get all your everyone's kill cards at all times. No, I don't want to do that. Bye, friends. It was fun. But Rob, no. Wait, now I have to kill Rob, Nick. You were. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> No, no, see, I wasn't going to attack you because I thought he was going to kill you and use the flyer, and I was like, cool, I can attack Nick then. But now I have to attack Rob to get the damage safely. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm sorry, Rob. No, I mean, it's fine. Like I said, I can just spectate the next one if you guys want. <laughs> so it'd be a little bit easier than you guys get to keep your kill cards. Look, look, man. I have this really plain rice, and I'm really glad that you flavored it for me. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I liked that joke. I appreciated it. It was good. He likes the way you look. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy all that health you just took from me for some reason. Yeah. From your soul. Enjoy losing Nick since you've decided to just lay everything on me inexplicably again. And Nick's got this. Third game in a row. Nick has a plan, man. A man plan. Wait. I have a man plan. <laughs> I have a man plan. I love you. <laughs> We're just going to awkwardly end every phrase with I love you now. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be really creepy. We should just say that as the end of the magic episodes. <laughs> that, that we like the your... way you look. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're going to like the way I, that you look at me. I love you. <laughs> what, is you what are you doing? Oh, you <laughs> it was a spite move more than anything. It was anything. a spite move, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, you got two turns. Uh, Can you do 32 you damage in two turns? I don't know. Do you like the way you look? I love you. <laughs> yep. Scood. Scood to you two. Scood. Scood indeed. Scoody. Scoody duty. Nick, you got to make a move. You need to show me your moves. Hmm. Show me your boobs. Show, you, show me your moves. I mean, you know all I need to do is get a kill card, and then we're back at this again. I actually yeah, just died. In no? two turns. No, you didn't die. Never mind. My math is bad. Bad Why? math. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You have, you have one turn after this one. Wait, you are aware I can block this. Yeah. Does doesn't matter. Trample? He has lifelink no, no, and no. sanguine blood. Yeah, but oh. it's only five damage. Um, yeah, so you have one more turn after this. 
Oh, sorry. I you were arguing against Nick. I was arguing against Nick too. So we were both arguing. <laughs> I'm agreeing with you, but I'm arguing. Never mind. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Nick, I'm going to be honest. It's not looking good. I mean, yep. I did block that damage, so I probably shouldn't take five damage as a result yeah. of blocking it. There's five. Uh, only there was a way for someone to, like, deal with those things. Oh, my things. God, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> that is... Man. It's been the past, like, three episodes. If only if you had, like, you know, three of your kill cards that you used on my goblins. Or my cards that dealt with it. Oh, no. GG! Disaster. I wish one of these times you just accidentally blocked my death touch. <laughs> <laughs> one of these days. It's gotta happen. I mean, if you have enough and I can't see them. Oh yeah, that's actually a really good idea. I should obfuscate a death touch in a pile of one ones and then attack with all of them. <laughs> I just and you'll to accidentally that. block all of them. Wow. What? what a player. Yeah, sorry, I'm BMing right now. I just wanted to do that. What? What the fuck? Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, no. I want to get to the uh, flaming Nintendo portion of the. Oh, okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. I well, mean, we I haven't don't... established some kind of causal link yet between the magic game and Nintendo, but that's a good point. Yeah, I'm sure we're working at it. Oh no, no, cancel. Stop it. I wanted to play this card. Oh, he has dead weight. Yeah, I do. I oh, okay, so you knew that was a... I thought you were actually taking a risk by doing that. No, no, I had backup. I just That was actually just a spite move. Not a spite so, move, but a... Yeah, a but a bragging dick. move. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to look all the cards. Well, if and... I would have just drawn a kill card, that still could have been bad for you. Uh, yeah. No, I can chain these to where I have like a million of them, so it's... Yeah. yeah. It's pretty safe. Oh, GG. no, because I was going to block it with the non-flyer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I mean, this is for Rob, I guess. You did draw one! <laughs> Disaster! I actually want Nick to win out of spite for Nick now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even understand how you get to that point. <laughs> you want me to win out of spite. I think there's a third one in here. I have to scroll through like a million <laughs> fucking cards to find. <laughs> Give me another flesh to dust. Give me another. <laughs> I actually have two in my deck. All right, I lost. Good game. Is there? Hopefully. Well, I mean, I can just draw a guaranteed kill card then. What the hell is this game? <laughs> you just I just get to go in my deck and pick things that I like. Are you? Serious? <laughs> <laughs> you actually fucking live now. <laughs> what the fuck? That's hilarious. <laughs> Suck it and he's got in. seven oh my life too. God, the fucking hubris is so real. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> Sometimes oh, no. love don't feel like it should. It makes you uh, hurt so good. Okay, well, that was my safety card that is now no longer safe. That was like not even like a kill card wouldn't have been as good as that. No, yeah, that one gave me fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I thought I had three of those, so I, I thought I was safe for. Uh, oh my god, you actually might fucking beat me. That actually. I have be three hilarious. healthy of thirty six. That's let's true. Be honest I mean, it's, it's very unlikely, but now this game's gonna last way longer than I wanted it to. I know, right? I was just trying to be cute, and now I fucking it's now look like a dick. You had me trapped in the rat maze, and I peeked over the top of the maze, and I got a look at the world around and saw the scientist that is you. Wow, that was beautiful, Nick. I know. I'm turned on. Wait, that's not. Yeah, I got a boner. I'm gonna love the way you look. I love you. Wait. <laughs> 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 well, the shitty thing is, I can't actually attack you right now unless I get lucky and draw like a flyer. That's not a flyer. Well, that'll give me a flyer. Gives me more options, I guess. There's options. There's options. I can't even. Yeah, you have regenerate. <laughs> the fact that you drew that specific <laughs> card. <laughs> Oh, I love this. This is oh. so funny. No. This is so funny. This is a fucking if disaster. If you're watching this from Rob's perspective, you should see my hand right now. <laughs> you have another kill card? Oh, who knows what it is. It could be anything if you really think about it. He saved it, so it's probably pretty good. Oh my god, okay. This is really good now, actually. What are you going to do with that? 
You're gonna start hitting me for two? Attack. Yeah, that's, that's what you're gonna do. If anything, this will absorb your kill card. Because you're gonna have to kill the angel that's about to spawn. So you have to gain four life? Oh, the rhino does that. Double mm -hmm. dick, yeah. Double dicks. Double dicks! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> All I gotta do is draw a radiant fountain and I get another one. <laughs> Plenty of those in my deck. You're gonna love the way I look. You're oh. gonna love the way I love you. <laughs> I love <laughs> this right, that's, fucking game. That's though. really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> oh I, man, one, pressure's yeah. on again. Can I draw another kill I don't card? See if you can get out of this one. Can I draw one more? I have another full turn though. That's true. Well, I mean. It's gonna be every turn now, unless you kill one of these, and you can't kill one. Why is it an every turn? This is it's a double double. This is four damage, so I get an angel. Yeah. What? He's gonna get an angel off of this because I know gonna he's gonna get an angel, but I, that's why I said I have to draw a kill card. But you can't hit me with the angel for another full turn after that. Yeah, I'm gonna get an angel every turn now. That's why yeah. I don't understand. Because I'm, I'm gonna attack you every turn with these two rhinos. So it's gonna give me an angel every turn. Mm, I don't believe you. Okay. <laughs> did you did you draw a kill card? <laughs> Not exactly. Oh, is it another tribute to hunger? Oh, it's dead weight. <laughs> it still saves you though. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <it>. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking prolongation of this game is that a word? I don't fucking know. No. Sounds like a word, so it may as well be. Might as well put it in the dictionary starting now. Yeah, I mean it makes. I'm gonna Google it. I'm gonna go, I'm fucking Google it. That's not a word. I can oh. tell you right now, it is not a word. Prolongation is not a word. Marion Webster Online, prolongation. Marion Robster. The definite prolongation of the ceasefire, as an example. Get wrecked, Rob. Get yeah, it's not wrecked. a word. Get wrecked. Mate. I probably shouldn't attack you, I'm thinking. No. Like a bad idea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you can survive one more turn because if he attacks you with two of the rhinos, then you can block with the lifelink and the mm -hmm. drudge skeleton. But he wouldn't probably attack me with both things. That's what I was I'm going to say I'm extremely impressed with how long this took. I'm not. No. You could have just finished this a long time ago. I could have, but I, I, I sincerely thought you wouldn't draw like three kill cards in a row. <laughs> And then a life that killed my creature and gave you enough life to live even longer. Wait, what? You oh. win. Jeez, sorry. GG! Yay, that was fun. <laughs> sorry! <laughs> Enjoyable. I want it to be like this. I mean, you did. That's why you killed everything on the board. I wanted to be one extra turn. Yeah, it was doubly fun for me. <laughs> Just you know, don't even I, get to play. I got through the top layer of the rice, and I'm glad that you said that because the bottom layer didn't get sufficient seasoning. So yeah, that's important. <laughs> Why it's do I all crusty Sorry. on the bottom? It's not not that bad when the rice is a little crusty. You bake it. Yeah. Do the, you ever point. do like the chicken with the uh, chicken stock in a bed of rice, and then it gets like that little bit of a yellow seasoning crustiness to it? Yeah, yeah, you could do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. I did recover the blood. Game. GG. GG. I bet the whole fucking chat hates me now. Well. Fucking chat. No, yeah, I said I put fucking on the wrong word there. I'm sorry. I meant to say, I bet the whole chat fucking hates me now. So now the I just hate the chat even more by calling them the fucking chat. <laughs> they're not even the, yeah. the comment section, so that's I don't know. What so, that's not so bad. I mean, if they're, if they're all fucking each other, they're probably having a fine time. They're yeah. at least distracted. They're probably not worried about our, you know, crunchy yeah. rice and us saying we love them. That's a good point, yeah. I can just wreck those hammer bros. Holy shit. Oh, would you like to explain to the audience what you're talking about? I'm watching uh, AGDQ on my 46-inch monitor on the oh. uh, on the left of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For those of you who don't watch AGDQ, you should. It's a speedrunning marathon, and donations go to uh, Prevent Cancer Foundation, and you should go donate. And for those of you who don't understand what 46 inches represents, it's roughly one half size the girth of my penis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just the girth? Yep. Like, not the length. 
Yeah, wow. they, they call it the bulldozer. <laughs> That's fair. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> this will be your mission, commenters. Find the most awkward place to say I love you to someone who absolutely would never receive that information properly and go for it. Oh, God. <laughs> Just oh, interrupt gonna... someone too if you have to, like yeah, at work. I'm just trying to think of really awkward situations now where that would be really funny. Yeah, with your boss like telling you what you have to do for the next week. <laughs> All right, sounds good, man. I love you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a Tim and Eric skit in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you have to say it slightly timidly, though, to get the effect that goes there with oh, it. Oh, yeah, because you're afraid of what they're going to say in reply right, to you right, letting right. this information out. That's what gives it that air, uh, that serious air to it that makes it worth saying. Yeah. You got to give just the right amount of time in between the silence, too, for for them to, like, try and ponder their next thought, but then get their next thought instantly interrupted by I love you. If you can also <laughs> just divert your gaze right after you say it, that would be perfect. <laughs> That's definitely the best way to do it, I'd say. That is perfect. Just let them think on it for a while, you know? Just look to the side or down and, like, have your hands in your pockets also, if you don't mind. All right, and here's uh, your change, $2.50. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> no, just right as they're saying the $2, right there, I love you. <laughs> don't let them finish. And then drive away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming we're in the drive through at the restaurant. Oh, I was actually in the, well, the reason I was in the actual restaurant was because the restaurant that I went to today for lunch, I was in, so, yeah. Well, I'm imagining you're getting change from the person at the drive-thru, and you haven't gotten your food yet, so you just <laughs> drive away in the middle of them giving you the change. <laughs> you drop the bomb, and you walk away. And then they're left to ponder that for the rest of the day. Break the wrist and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> So, by the way, apparently, I'm reading uh, magic comments. Donkey Kong was apparently abused by Mario, and that's why Donkey Kong fucked with Mario. It's apparently in the original game booklet. He was abused? Yeah, apparently. Dang. Mario abused him. I never even thought about it this way, but that actually takes it to a whole new height. I never thought about animal cruelty as a classification for the type of violence that Mario commits to his adversaries. But uh, they are animals. Isn't there a sequel to the Super Mario Brothers that stars Donkey Kong's like son? And yeah, he, Donkey it, Kong Jr. Yeah, Donkey Mario. Kong, well, Donkey Kong Country is is the son. No, like, Donkey, the Kong Donkey Kong Jr. Kong is what you're talking no, about. Yeah, Donkey Kong Jr. It's it's an NES game, and it's uh, the same game as Super Mario, uh, or the original. Oh right, oh, okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, Mario, I think, steals Donkey Kong, and then he forces his son to go through horrible puzzles in order to. Yep. He's like in a cage uh, at the end of every level or something like that, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty fucked up, man. Bug Nintendo! Oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, no, the, uh, well, also in, in Donkey Kong Country, you know, Cranky Kong was the original donkey from the original Donkey Kong for the original art game. Well, yeah, I, think, I guess you're right, but, uh, and then Donkey Kong is his, I guess his son? He's pretty old for to be a dad, I guess. So we're on the third generation of donkey animals now. Yeah, it's possible. Then he is just his friend, right? Or is he his brother? I thought what? it was his little uh, brother. It, it might be. I don't know. Uh, is it a Kong family? Like Diddy? Yeah. Uh, Dick well, there, there is, the, there is the, the DK crew. <laughs> DK, like Donkey Kong is back. Yeah. There's also all those dudes that show up when they do kart racing, but, like, aren't in the rest of the series, I think. You know, like an mm. alligator involved or something, or a bird? Oh, Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, there's, you know, King K. Rule. He was in... in from oh, yeah, Donkey Kong is in yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's the big bad I'm guy. In, in... I have no knowledge of Donkey Kong Country beyond the first five levels or so, because I'm terrible at it. What? Did you ever play Donkey Kong 64? Yeah, I didn't like that either. It's, like, really uh, bad to control. Uh, Oh, that game it, was so much fun. Controls, but I love that game, too. Oh, yeah. Dude, the DK rap, shout out to uh, Grant Kirkhope for writing that bad boy. DK, Donkey Kong. Dude, and then dude, the Kirk. final boss fight in, in Donkey Kong 64, spoilers, uh, is you in a boxing match with King K. Rule. Yeah, it's really boss. long, too. 
It is. It's like it's a very cool. difficult boss fight. He's the leader of a bunch of the bunch. You know it, him well. He's like a shout he's out fine. to Super Punch yeah. Out or something. To kick some tail, he's coconut gun and fire in burst. If he shoots ya, it's gonna hurt. Do, 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 do. If he shoots ya, it's gonna hurt. Yeah, <laughs> he's got what a coconut gun. What information is that? <laughs> he's got a coconut gun, man. He's gonna. If you ever get hit by a coconut, doesn't feel good. No. All you need to do is drop a coconut on somebody's head. You don't need to shoot it at them. That's it, true. It, dude, blame Funky Kong. He's the one who gives it to him. He's encouraging. Funky Kong, isn't he the one that, like, turns, like, 80 feet tall? Funky Kong? No, that's Lanky Kong. Funky Kong's the radical guy. No, that surf Lanky, Lanky's got the grape shooter. What about Stanky Kong? Yeah, Lanky also gets Stanky. real tall. Stanky. Oh, no, Stanky oh, you're Kong talking about gets real the, big uh, and tall. That's, uh... We, they don't talk about Stanky Kong, Nick, because, you know, <laughs> he was he was in jail at 18. He was hanging around with the wrong crowd. He's, he's, kind of the, he's kind of the black sheep of the family. Um, who is, to go there. is it like Kunga Kong or what is his name? Kunga Kong. I don't think it's that, but it's something <laughs> similar. <laughs> DK up. Crew, hold on. Are you uh, telling me Crew spelled with a K? I'm pretty sure you're right. Uh, oh, Tiny Kong. No, Chunky Kong. Chunky oh, yeah, Tiny is the one that gets big, probably. Oh, no, Tiny no, Tiny is the one that gets small. Chunky Kong is the I one can that tell gets... that that's true because of his name. I like how Chunky Kong at one point in the DK rap is just wearing a disco outfit, but then he never wears it again. Apparently, <laughs> there's a Kong called Ninja Kong, what? and he's the ruler of the Durian Kingdom. Ew. Which is the twelfth kingdom. It's the smelliest like, fruit known to man, isn't I like, it? I feel like you're making that up. Is it? No, I'm reading on the on the Donkey Kong wiki because there. Oh, you're right. Okay, let's let's universe. find out. Oh, he's from uh, Donkey Kong <laughs> Jungle Beat. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's oh, Wrinkly Kong is oh my god Jesus Christ Wrinkly Kong Cranky Kong's now deceased wife yeah. and Donkey Kong's grandmother That's fucked up No she's Where's the Kong? ghost in Deke and Donkey Kong 64 she helps you out Remember you open the door and she's like woo and she's a ghost oh, I don't even actually remember that at all Yeah for sure man They chose that moment to give us the insight of Donkey Kong's life after the grandmother had died but before the grandfather had died, we could have just had them all together. So it's a very Wait, specific so if choice. Cranky Kong was the original Donkey Kong, right? And he's the grandfather of of the current Donkey Kong. Then was Donkey Kong Jr. the father of the current Donkey Kong? In which case, whatever happened to Donkey Kong Jr., I think he became Stanky Kong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see what I, you mean. Yeah. By that estimation, he would be the current Donkey Kong, wouldn't he? Well, no, Donkey Kong Jr. slash Baby Donkey Kong is implied to be the current Donkey Kong. Or yeah. Well, or his father, right? That's what it says there. Yeah, so that's the thing. Yeah, I mean, so there's he'd another have... generation? There, there's got to be... A, well, there's a generation. Oh, wait. Diddy and Kong... there's a missing wife. Diddy mm -hmm. Kong is his nephew. Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, and he, apparently Candy Kong is, is his girlfriend. We should do this, with, but with the prince of all cosmos and all of his family. <laughs> Wait a second! Wait a second! This familial situation is getting a little bit weird now that I'm reading it, because I think Dixie and Diddy, they're boyfriend and girlfriend, but they're they are technically cousins. Like, they're they are like a twice-removed cousin, but they're still cousins. I thought twice is when it doesn't Wait, matter. Wait, how anymore. are they... How are they... How, though? Well, okay, so here... Diddy Kong is Donkey Kong's nephew, right? Dixie Kong is Tiny Kong's older sister, Kitty and Chunky Kong's cousin, Diddy Kong's girlfriend. Who's so, Kitty Kong is Chunky Kong's little brother, as well as Dixie and Tiny Kong's cousin. Right, so they're they're related. Look, man, there's not that many monkeys on the island, all right? They gotta... <laughs> <That's> <laughs> they gotta up, make it. <laughs> there's some inbreeding in the fucking Donkey Kong world, apparently. Oh man, this, that's that's hard to get through. That's kind of fucked up. Wait, okay, so the, Lanky, the Kitty Lanky Kong is, is from DKC three, right? Uh, I think two. No, two. Wait, two, two, two is Diddy three? Kong's quest. Yeah, and I think Dixie's in it. Is is, is yeah, it, but no, that, I'm talking about Kitty. Kitty is in the third one. Oh. Of Dixie. Is she? I, I don't. I don't actually even recognize Kitty Kong. Let's see. He's the guy in like the little the baby. Uh, he's got like the little blue. And he, he drags it around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in Donkey Kong Country 3, yeah. Yeah. 
Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. All right. I don't think I ever played Donkey Kong Country 3. It's great. It's fucking hard, though. Why did the yeah. family stop aging after Donkey Kong Country came out? <laughs> I don't know, Nick. Maybe, they maybe started it's... aging, like, just fine in the olden days, and then they just stopped. Also, what is is Mario a fucking time lord or like was yes. he like five when he killed Donkey Kong? No, it's too? like in Zelda. There's like a hundred Marios, all of different generations, all doing <laughs> things in parallel dimensions. I guess so. That's that's too much for me, man. I can't handle that. Sometimes he's a baby. Sometimes he's like an old man. <laughs> I I really do love that there has to be a wiki for every universe, even if there's like no lore involved at all. <laughs> like there's a guy, the Swanky Kong, direct relation unknown, possibly a cousin of some sort to Donkey Kong. <laughs> Who gives a shit? <laughs> Whoever wrote it does. I guess. Oh man! Apparently, the Mankey Kongs used to be members of oh the Kong God. family, but were kicked out of the family for being too mischievous. Oh yeah. I actually give, like, <laughs> negative 55 shits about any of this stuff, but I just think it's entertaining <laughs> hearing you talk about it because it's like, who even thought that there would be any story to any of this? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> There's a Swanky Kong. Yeah, Swanky. He's the one that I'm talking about. There's no. Oh, yeah, no, he's the one who runs, like, the uh, circus. Or not the circus. Yeah, is it the circus? He's a, he runs, like, a bonus game or something in Donkey Kong Country. Oh, okay, yeah. He looks just like DK. Long lost brother? Maybe. I mean, he's a Kong, so he has to be related. He's in the Kong yeah. family. I wonder That's who, true. at this point, who is the lead player in the Mario franchise? Because you're making a strong case for Donkey Kong, actually, being a formational and very important one. Obviously, Mario's the face of it all. But, of course, right. we've talked about the Koopa situation, not to mention all of the princesses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, like, everybody in there is kind of a lead player in their own way, and I'm not really sure who really is at the front of this whole thing. Didn't we, like, eventually say that that was Yoshi, that it was him? Oh, yeah, yeah. it might be Yoshi. Can we say it's Sonic? <laughs> okay, sure. I mean, he's the I mean, fastest out of all of them. He is pretty fast. The uh, I actually watched the Sonic Adventure 2 battle speedrun on, on AGTQ that was yesterday. It's actually really interesting. Pretty cool. Just mm. throw that out there. I mean, like, you just don't respond or add any uh, conversation. I don't so, <laughs> I'm just reading a bunch of things here. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just thinking okay. about this Twitter image that somebody sent me that had, like, giant pictures of Sonic being pregnant. <laughs> Why is everybody pregnant in all the damn cartoons all the time? That's a good question. They should show <laughs> them banging. <laughs> I'm sure they do that, too. Yeah, you're probably right, actually. Minky. Minky are monkey-like enemies that first appeared in Donkey Kong Country 3. Oh my god, there's some, like, weird caste system on Banana Island or wherever the fuck he lives. <laughs> <laughs> the Kong family, also known as the Kong clan, with a K. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, that's only two, man, all right? It's okay. The Kong clan. It's all right. It's only two, all right? I really think when you've established yourself as a franchise that exclusively likes to use K's for their crazy value, calling yourself the clan of anything, don't do it. <laughs> it's going to happen by accident. The Cool Kong Clan. Yeah. That's that's that, that's their full name, actually. It's just, oh. you know, it's a K in there. He's the leader of the bunch. <laughs> you know him well. Headed by K. Rule. And he's here to kick some tail. He's finally back to kick. Shut up. You don't know the words. I don't. I haven't listened to it. What don't, cruel don't things has K. Rule really done, other than take away people's bananas, I guess? He hasn't. He's ruled, okay? He's he King steals K. Rool. Well, actually, no. In the opening scene in Donkey Kong 64, like, King K. Rule is a big fucking dickhole. Like, he... I think he, like, murders one of his, one of his henchmen. Like, and, and, like, he has, like, this little pet, like, one of those rattle traps or whatever they're called. And then, like... and Wait, then what's he, a like, rattle trap? It's the you know it's like it's like the it's like the reptile enemies except they're like they're they're small and they're like uh, I love the noise that they make they note. make yeah. little clap noises. I just thought you were referring to an actual thing, so I was like, did I miss what traps are rattle traps? Maybe. <laughs> no, I have no idea. I don't know what they're actually called. What are, what are they called? Oh man, yeah. I mean, they had this credit sequence that says all the enemy names, right? Oh, maybe it's. it's like... Hold on, I think it might be a Chomps Junior. Related to the Mario Chomps. Oh, yeah. Oh no. no, no. Those are the fish. Wait, hold on. 
Uh, hogwash claptrap. I think it's a claptrap. Hold oh, on. Great. Oh, here we yep. fucking go. Yeah, I'm it's a claptrap. Everybody. <laughs> yeah, it's a claptrap, but it's with a K, so there, it's all right. Yeah, well, I guess they would be the ones suing 2K if anything. Yeah, they did do true. it first, yeah. Good old clap traps. So yeah, you're telling me what vile thing he did. I, I guess he fed someone to his clap trap or something. Yeah, yeah, he was like mur he's like murdering his henchmen and stuff, and then uh, and then also he like traps all members of the Kong clan, I guess, uh, <laughs> in like these tiny little jail cells, and they look very sad. The like, King K rules oh. a big butthole. Yeah, it sucks being in jail. I'd hate for that to yeah. happen. Yeah, I don't know what the Kong clan ever did to him. Well, they did hoard all the damn bananas, as far as I'm aware. That's a good point, yeah. Yeah, why are they hoarding all those bananas? I mean, I get that they're monkeys and they like well, bananas, but... Donkey Kong's the ruler. He gets to do whatever the fuck he wants. I guess that's true. Although, that doesn't really make any sense, either, because if it's, a, if it's like, a hierarchical, uh, like, patriarchal, uh, like, royalty, sovereignty, then wouldn't Cranky Kong still be king, technically? No, he's too old. He was his throne was was besieged. Was he was he deposed? He was deposed by the current Donkey Kong because that's kind of fucked up. Look, I don't play CK two. You can't use words like that, all right? Maybe he's cranky because Donkey Kong dis deposed him. <laughs> disposed of him. D <laughs> well, basically, I mean, it, clearly he disposed of his mother, Wrinkly Kong. Also, why the fuck did they call her Wrinkly Kong? I'm sure she wasn't that wrinkly when she was young. All right, all right, you, you're doing too much, man. You're doing too much. I can't handle all this Donkey it's Kong lore, all right? Up, man. Pretty fucked up. So we're just gonna go to the lore of every Nintendo game, every Magic episode now. <laughs> what if Mario Cranky we're wasn't doing cool Kong. with Diddy banging his cousin, and Donkey Kong yeah. was like, you know what, man, fuck you, I'm gonna steal your throne now. That's true. And your banana. Banana horde. He's the ruler of the banana horde. Don't they go bad if you store them like that? I would think so. Yeah. Look, man, don't freaking talk bad about his or anyone's bananas. All right. I've never mm -hmm. seen a not ripe banana in the Donkey Kong universe. I love you. <laughs> that was just the right amount of time that I didn't see it coming. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, here, look, look. Donkey Kong's Banana Horde is a cave located near Donkey Kong's home where he stores all of his bananas. King K. Rule has continuously tried to steal the bananas for unknown reasons. No one unknown. knows! No one knows why he wants to steal the bananas. What is he's a reptile? What do they need bananas for? They don't need bananas. Well, I thought yeah. the bananas were also a form of currency. That's true, they are as well. So their currency and their food, and they also don't go bad. But what unknown reason would he steal it for? Mm. Maybe he likes freaking bananas. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Bananas. Actually... Well, I guess if you have 100 bananas, you have an extra life. So that must be... You know what? Oh, that's how immortality. Yep, yeah, exactly. So, so that's... Then, that's... Yeah. Oh, and he must be just like feeding Cranky Kong just the amount of bananas that he needs to keep him alive. Just to, he's like he's like Gus from Breaking Bad, mm. just like keeping Cranky alive just to fuck with him. He killed Spoiler. his wife to steal her soul so he could stay alive for a while longer. And Donkey's too strong and and he can't steal his soul, so he's just yeah. gonna fade away. Man, that would be a great game if you could see Cranky Kong trying to trying to undo the the harm that the current Donkey Kong has done. Well, you can play as Cranky Kong in the new Donkey Kong. Can you really? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, so what strides has the new one made in terms of the lore? Uh, yeah, well, let's see. That, well, King K. Rool doesn't seem to exist anymore. I don't, well, he might uh, just be dead. I don't know. I think he's dead, yeah, because yeah, he, he has been dead. Weird. Um, but yeah, the enemies are just like... The first one, the, the main enemy is like a giant banana, lava. So he died. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he also got knocked the fuck out at the end of Donkey Kong 64. Oh, like break his jaw or something so he couldn't eat the bananas anymore? Probably, I don't know. Um, but uh, the first boss or uh, uh, the first game was uh, a giant lava tiki that spawns in the volcano. And then the boss of the second game is some like penguin or arctic polar bear army that comes from the sea and freezes the island. Polar bears live in the sea now. Well, no, they sailed from polar bear land. Oh. P polar Berlandia. So just like arbitrary things. Yeah, just some random uh, dudes. Just like <laughs> I'm just gonna fuck your island up, man. It's all almost right. like they didn't consider the lore at all when they made these games. Come on, <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> there. All right. So apparently there was some game that I was not aware of that existed on the Wii called Donkey Kong Barrel Blast. 
in yeah. which the Donkey Kong crew and I suppose his arch rivals fasten barrels to themselves and fly. Yeah, you can do that. The Wii is All a right. mysterious place, man. The magic of motion <laughs> controls allows anything to be possible. <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. I hate you. Oh, guys, we should do Kirby next time. That's going to be fun. Oh, <laughs> God. That, that, that one is just... Uh... I never really played Kirby, if I'm being honest. It's not that fun. I'm sorry. Yeah, I wasn't that into it. Oh, this it's... is the time when I get to be the fanboy and say I like something, and you get to say it's bad. We've all done different <laughs> roles now. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say it's bad, personally. Oh, but I, I, I wasn't it's, that into it. It's, well, you seems... just did, in fairness. No, I said it's not that good. Mm. Yeah, I, I mean, say the it's not opposite of be, it being not good doesn't mean it's necessarily bad. It could be neutral. That's true. Just, it seems very one-dimensional and very... I don't know. It, it... I mean, it's a story about a pink circle. <laughs> so, That's a good point. I agree with the one-dimensional thing. The thing that I like is that he steals everybody's powers... It's like that a, is, that's the only cool part about it. It's like a more say. dynamic version of Mega Man, because you don't have to play through the whole level to get to the boss powers. You just get them whenever you want. Yeah. But you also lose them a lot, too, which sucks. I wish you could just keep them all forever. Yeah, that'd be cool. It's like a big open-world Kirby game, and then you just go around finding powers, and it just turns into a fucking Metroidvania. So basically, I just made a Metroidvania out of Kirby. There you go. Here you go, oh, Nintendo. Uh, free uh, offering. Oh. Silver plate. <laughs> right for you. Okay, until Nintendo makes Pokemon Snap 2, they are not... Uh, ever taking free play It's ideas. almost as if they made the Wii U to make Pokemon Snap It's almost too. as if they made the Wii wow. U just to spite everyone and act <laughs> like they don't think that that's not the best fucking idea in the Did world. Did I miss the cue on this moment of outrage? Because you both seem like you had it spring-loaded and ready for okay. action. Okay, did you ever play Pokemon Snap? Yes, the first and place. I agree with you, and we've already talked about this on the show. It's just, oh. I just thought it was funny that you both oh. knew at the same <laughs> okay. moment. I thought, I thought you didn't understand why we were that way. No. I mean, it, it's clearly, it's the, the entire console seems to be designed entirely for Pokemon Snap 2. Yeah. Uh, yes. I mean, I, w I wouldn't fucking. Oh, imagine like an open world Pokemon Snap 2. <laughs> we have imagined that. <laughs> I think that's what we said last time we talked about this. Did we really? I think so. It's like That'd so pretty... more Pokemon. Oh, and. Picks. You can get expansions for your camera in the form of little amiibo statues that you could put on the corner of the viewfinder. So if you want to get like 45 millimeter depth of field effects, you should get the little <laughs> mini camera effect there. Just pop it oh, on. That'd be great. Only $7.99. You know how much like Pokemon Snap would sell? It's not even that hard to make. It's a it's, it's like a rail shooter without having to shoot anything. All you have to do is make animations and models. Like, well, that's you it. You get a little apple, you get a little apple statue and put it on the corner of your camera. And then you could throw <laughs> apples at Pikachu. <laughs> oh, man, that'd be great. <laughs> you get bug spray. I don't know, guys. I don't think Nick likes the Amiibo system. I don't know. <laughs> you get a little bug spray statuette. Like Eleven ninety nine. Just pop it down. Right we're the we're there. Fuck Nintendo. We made it, guys. We fucking yeah. Did it. Oh, we're so good at this, man. <laughs> um, time. Um, All right. Let's get next. Yeah, next yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, yeah. Next. Nintendo. Did you ever feel bad though when you would throw all that poison at those animals? Yeah. Yeah, I, I never understood exactly what it's called. A pester ball. Like it's meant to just fuck it's, with them. It's like that's the. It's, it's basically, yeah. It's a poison. Like, not every animal that you're throwing these at is a coughing, which can obviously withstand poison because it excretes poison. Like, you get this little animal. mouse thing. A damn picture, all right? They got a fucking pose or they're getting the ball, all right? That's the way it goes. That's true. I, I mean, how else is right. Professor Oak supposed to write his textbook without pictures? Oh? <sighs> they could even have, like, voice acting for Professor Oak. How cool would that be? So he could tell you how much of a shit photographer you are and you get to hear him say it. <laughs> I hope they keep the exact same engine for cr uh, critiquing the photos, too. So no matter what you do, Professor Zoke's like, you're a fucking piece of shit. Never <laughs> film this again. Oh, it's not centered. Sorry. No more points for the rest of the fucking photo. Fuck you. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and duck point up the next photo for how bad this photo is. Actually. <laughs> they should actually... You know what? Get rid of Professor Oak. Fuck that. Make it Pokemon Snap, but Gordon Ramsay is the guy. Who yes! That and would you be... have to cook a beef Wellington. 
<laughs> yeah, while you're snapping the photos. No up. photography at all. No, you just <laughs> go to a kitchen <laughs> and you cook a beef Wellington and a risotto and a few scallops. You, and you put it on the corner of the Wii U controller and and that allows you. Yeah, to... right. You put a Gordon Ramsay on the uh, amiibo on your controller, <laughs> and then Professor Oak becomes Gordon Ramsay. It just says it's raw. <laughs> I'm in <eating> this. <laughs> it's frozen. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that would, uh, yeah, that'd be good. I'd play shut that game. it down! Shut it down! <laughs> <laughs> they should just put Gordon Ramsay as the announcer in every Nintendo game. Actually, I want Gordon Smash. Ramsay. Smash. I would play Smash that. more if he was in it. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be great. I want to watch Gordon Ramsay announce football games. I don't even care if he knows how football works. <laughs> Dude, he's got so games. many TV shows. If you probably find the right region, you could probably find whatever you're looking for. <laughs> he's got like 11 concurrent shows in the UK, five or six in the US. Who knows what other amounts of shows he's got in other countries. That's Nobody's a good discovered point. it yet. He's a very entertaining man. So he works like more than anyone should oh yeah no he's also like really sincere and actually like a really yeah, cool a nice guy yeah i have to believe he's got some sort of neurosis about not working because he works obsessively i don't know i mean yeah probably i mean but he's oh. a uh, i mean just look watch him like he fucking like, even when he's just on anything cooking something he's always doing something constantly just constantly Nobody this. could have the energy that he can expend at a given day. It's really crazy. In one day, he's probably expended more energy than me in five years. That's <laughs> <laughs> probably true. I mean, he's probably hey, just this... recorded another series since we started talking about him. <laughs> yeah, He's probably recording one right now. I wouldn't doubt yeah. it at all. He, he could give a Roomba a fucking run for his money as far as videos produced. That's a good point, yeah. Dang. <laughs> like 30, so, right? did you guys know that 50% of Nigerians are under 14 years old? Yes, I knew that. That's crazy. I didn't know that. It's a really random fact, Rob. Where'd you get that one from? As I'm looking at Reddit. Oh, a surprise. Nintendo facts. Yeah. Nintendo. Yeah, well, you know, it's good to have uh, you know some things to talk about. Like 50% of Nigerians being under 14 years old. That's pretty crazy. You're We're crazy. all their old people. I love you. <laughs> 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 oh, that's weird. That is weird. It's the perfect amount of weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it we is. Make an, we should make an "I love you" app that analyzes people speaking in dynamic real time <laughs> and finds the exact time when you should say "I love you" to be the most <laughs> off-putting. Yeah, see, you just need to make "I love you" be your sub noise. <laughs> oh, yeah. It would interrupt me. <laughs> but you need to record like a hundred different I love you's in that different tones. Uh -huh. And so it picks a random one while you're doing it. And also cuts my mic for like three seconds. While yeah. <laughs> so you have one that's like really seducive in there. That's just like the seductive. worst one. Seducive? Seducive. Seductive. <laughs> Did you really just say seducive? <laughs> A word that maybe you just said? It, maybe he was thinking caduceus or whatever. The, the <laughs> snake with the rod. Yeah, it's just a caduceus. No big deal. Look, man. <laughs> I, like the way I pick what words to say are not... I, I don't have a word bank. I just... I, I, I actually will... That's why I mess up so many words. Is because I don't think of the words. I think of the word and then immediately add whatever... Well, you've got like a randomizer for the prefix yeah. and suffix. You Basically. get the base word down and then you go from there and the randomizer takes over. It's like doing that thing in Mario 3 where you get the middle of the mushroom and then you get like a star on the bottom. <laughs> Basically. That's a really good metaphor actually. Jeez. Because there's not that many options, you know? Yeah. But uh, but yeah, that, that's why I will often have words that don't make any sense but sometimes i'll have words like the earlier one that rob was like that's not a word but it ended up totally being a word it's not a fucking word it was a word what was it i'm sorry i don't i don't care that the dictionary website wants to say it's a word because they have to sell new editions of the dictionary every year that has more words in it than it uh, than it's supposed to so they just make shit up you're just mad uh, totally truthiness is a word now truthiness yeah yeah and colbert just made up a word and it became a word so you know anything's possible yeah you know what else is in the dictionary? Grrrl. G-R-R-L. It means a strong, independent woman who don't need no man. I'm not kidding. There's no vowels in the word. There's no vowels in that word. There's none. Not a one. It's G-R-R-L. It's a waste of time to put vowels in words anymore, Rob. 
It's yeah, 2015, Rob, nobody has time for that shit. Get with That's the picture, true. all right? All right? We get with the picture? Get the picture. Get with the picture. <laughs> is that a new word, too? You should Google that. Okay, you're awful. I took the vowels out of it as a joke, and it included, <laughs> didn't stick. Get with the picture. <laughs> picture. Picture. Wait, have you registered for that domain, picture? Because that's probably the next big social media site. Wow, you're actually not kidding. That that would be... Victor. We've got Grinder and Tumblr and Inger. <laughs> Victor! Why Victor haven't we made The Picture. Presbyterian Church of Tom's River. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm not! It's a church? <laughs> it's a Presbyterian church. Buy it out. Of Tom's River. They don't need that shit. Give them a real website that actually makes sense. <laughs> They're sitting on a fucking hey gold mine. They could fucking pay Jesus to get gold-plated fingernails if he wants. <laughs> what, is a, what, what does a church need a website for, anyway? Like, hey, we're going to talk about God next week. Like, what, what are they going to update me on at the church? They always we have to have those really in. cheeky signs they put on the lawn, so it's probably like one of those. <laughs> you're probably right. You know, they're, like, like kind of passive-aggressive that are like, if you're a sinner, you're fucked, but we're going to say it in a funny way. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Because that oh, wins God. over a lot of converts, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I have, uh, uh, I have, uh, this guy have? posted multiple things, but it's like the uh, expectation versus reality, and it's one of those frozen pizzas that, like, has, like, it looks really delicious in the, uh, in the picture, and it has, like, a bunch of, like, like, herbs, and it's got, like, a bunch of pepperoni on it, and they even have some, like, chopped pepperoni in the background, like, yeah, we made this fresh. And then, and then the picture is of it out of the box, and there's literally, like, one singular little sad pepperoni <laughs> slice at the top of the pizza and nothing else. <laughs> and there's like, a, there's, like, a big clump of fucking cheese surrounded by sauce just on the side there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't realize that the movie Frozen had uh, Italian eateries, actually. It did, yeah, it, it does. It's like the what can you buy at the cheesecake factory? Can someone tell me? Probably cheesecake. Because well, that's what I would think, but then there's that guy Jamarcus Russell, the football player who like got went broke because he was spending like 50 Yeah, he was spending like $50,000 a day at the cheesecake. What, what the fuck are you buying for $50,000 a day at the cheese? What can you buy at the tipping unless some girl he likes probably? 50 Yeah, hey baby, I know this is a, you know, a $10 cheesecake, but here's a check for fifty thousand fucking dollars every day for the next several days since i make several million dollars a year maybe he was laundering money maybe there was more to the story oh man that's that's too deep for me it's possible because that's obviously a really extravagant and stupid amount of money to spend at a cheesecake factory you're right there's not a good explanation which begs the question is there an explanation that isn't a good explanation but is the explanation i i just gotta look up what a cheesecake factory is because you know what like <laughs> didn't like, mathis work there did he? Did he work at the I Cheesecake I thought we factory? talked about this at the last time we all were all together. Mm. Uh, you might be right. A long time ago. You know what? I'm looking at pictures at this Cheesecake Factory. It looks like it's a place that just sells fucking cheesecakes. That's what yeah, it looks like. The Cheesecake Factory is a restaurant. Yeah, it's a restaurant. Oh, restaurant, bakery, bar. Oh, the bar part. Oh, there it is. There you go. Too, if, too much if you're sketch. A, if you're like a fucking millionaire, why are you fucking drinking at the Cheesecake Factory? He like lived. Lonely. I guess. He wants some cheesecake with his beer, or I guess with his Chardonnay. He wants some cheese with that wine. I wonder what That's the what most he, expensive what beer is that exists. Uh, I don't know. If beer can really get that expensive. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, there's not really a limit. That well, way. you. I think you'd have to at least you'd have to cut out. I think the uh, like fundraiser beers, right? Because like. Oh no! Yeah, I mean intrinsic yeah, value for just, you know right, itself. Yeah. All right, Google, let's find most expensive dog. No, beer. Most Is it a German beer? The I 10 of the world's most expensive beers. Is it a, oh, it's actually not a fucking, uh, uh, what it's called, um, slideshow. Sapporo Space Barley is $110 a six pack. Space Barley. Oh, they must have grew they it harvested in space. the fucking moon barley from <laughs> outer space. It is a zero gravity beer, yep. Yeah. In 2006, you know, Japanese and Russian scientists how well barley could grow in space. They rocketed barley seeds to the International Space Station, planted them above the Zvezda service module. After spending five months in orbit, the fourth generation of barley was brought back to Earth, where Japanese brewer Sapporo fermented it into the world's first space beer. Six-pack costs $110. Not bad, considering it was imported from the cosmos. 
You know, I might spend one hundred ten dollars for the novelty of having space beer. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not that much. I, I would know expect it's going to gonna taste exactly the same. No, I know, but it's the it's the novelty of the thought of it. You know. Okay. Crown Ambassador Reserve. Oh my God, that looks fucking bomb as hell. It's an Australian uh, beer aged in French oak barrels for twelve months. Is that a big deal? I don't know. <laughs> it's fancy shit. <laughs> Sounds crazy though. You just said it with like such reverence, like, "Oh my God, twelve months." <laughs> oh wait, these are getting more and more expensive as we go down. Why right, is it to the bottom of the list? Yeah, why is ten the most expensive? One should be. That's so stupid. You're they want to lead you down. Wait. All right, Nail to... Brewing's Antarctic Nail Ale is nail eight hundred to eighteen hundred and fifteen dollars for five hundred milliliters. So this is like one bottle's eight hundred bucks. So. Uh, this pale ale is made for animals, concocted by Nail Brewing in Perth, Australia. 100% profits. Oh, it's a okay. The sea shepherds landed a helicopter on, on an Arctic uh, so iceberg. It's a, it's a this is made for animals. I'm like, what? This is beer. Yeah, I was confused. <laughs> it's it's a charity beer. They dug up some ice, melted it in Tasmania, and flew it to Perth for brewing. That's really only unnecessary. 30 bottles were made. So it's just a like a fundraiser beer. You can melt ice anywhere there's fire. You know that? <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> Cheapest beer, but in China, Paps it's Blue Ribbon 1844. Ooh. PBR is expensive now? I thought it was the cheapest. No, okay, so in the USA, PBR is one of the cheapest beers you can buy, but in China, it is the Mercedes Benz oh of beer. God. Oh it's my like, god. It's like Denim in Russia. Hey man, they don't give out that Blue Ribbon. Oh, hold plate. on, that's because it's not the same blue color swill. PBR 1844 is made <laughs> from German caramel malts. Ooh, it is aged in uncharred American whiskey barrels and even comes in a fancy glass bottle. It is not sold outside of Wait, China. Wait, they give glass bottles for their beer now? I guess so. <laughs> Actually, that's, that's hold not... the damn phone. <laughs> I've had a PBR 40, and, uh, or like a, like a 40 of PBR, and I, I got to tell you, PBR tastes considerably worse out of glass. It is kind of gross. The tin so, really adds. It's so weird that a PBR is... That's so weird that they have this extremely fancy beer that's only sold in China. I don't get it. I don't either, man. Whoa! A hundred and ten proof beer? Whoa. That's Where disgusting. do you fit all that proof? Where is that at? It's uh, number eight. Brew Dogs, the end of history. Oh, my God. He's like Blonde, beer moonshine. Yeah. It is the third strongest beer. They're Only stronger 12. than that. Only 12 bottles exist, and each is made out of taxidermied roadkill? <laughs> Oh, Seven weasels God. or sticks, four squirrels and one hare. <laughs> That's what did you just say to me? Why would you? Oh no! They have a picture of the bottle. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's awful. It's a that's fucking amazing. squirrel wrapped around a bottle, and the end of the bottle comes out of its mouth. <laughs> that's the funniest book. That's terrible, but it's hilarious. How much enjoy. is that? Seven hundred and sixty-five dollars per three hundred and thirty milliliters. Yep. I mean, we could like pool our resources and buy it. <laughs> I don't want. I it. would really want it. Yeah. You just 100- have, like a nasty ass broken up squirrel bottle. <laughs> I had earthquake once, which is like a I think it's like a like a fourteen percent alcohol beer, and it is, it tastes like you drank someone's vomit. That was mixed with Tabasco sauce, mixed with feces, mixed with another person's vomit. That's what it tastes like. It's disgusting. I got I got a can of it once being like, oh, well, that seems like a lot of bang from a buck. 15% for like two bucks. Yeah, I'll buy that. I took a sip and I was like, never again. Never again. So you'd rather have like the non-alcoholic beer over that? I actually would. I would I would have no duels over that fucking earthquake. <laughs> <Or just>, rules, <laughs> rules. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> there's a Samuel Adams Utopia Spear, which is America's most expensive beer and is only released every two years. Ooh. Exclusive. Ooh. Yeah. Each batch is aged in sherry, brandy, cognac, bourbon, and scotch casks for up to 18 years. Yeah, it has a touch of maple syrup, and it's banned in 13 states because of uh, old ABV laws. laws. It's 27%. Alcohol and boner vagina alcohol laws? by volume. Oh, okay. I thought it was alcohol and boner vagina laws. <laughs> Is New York one of those states? I want that. 
Yeah, we have one of those alcohol and boner vagina laws in here. I would try, like, maple syrup beer. Sounds neat. I actually, when I was in Minnesota, I had, um, I had this thing that was a, um, Java Porter. And, oh, I'm sorry. Carrie made that. Vanilla Java Porter. No, it is straight up the thing out of the Carrie show. It tastes like, it tastes like vanilla coffee beer. It, it, it actually wasn't that bad. It's oh, pretty I'll good. Yeah, that actually sounds fine. Yeah, it's not, you know, because I, I don't, I don't like sweet drinks. And, uh, and, and that, and that was not sweet at all. It just, it tastes, it, it tastes like beer and vanilla coffee, but it wasn't, it wasn't sweet. It was pretty good. Did it have caffeine added to it? Because I hate that whole upper downer thing. I think that's kind of shitty. I don't know if it did, actually. Let me, let me Google it. Vanilla Java Porter. It might, it might have. Um, Atwater Vanilla Java Porter. It's like the exact type of thing that would give me heart palpitations, and I think I was going to die. <laughs> like any of those, like, Four loco energy drink plus alcohol, it's, like, such a bad idea. Oh, God, Four loco. <laughs> My childhood after the age of 21. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, uh, fucking, oh, what was the other one? There's, there's like, Juice, the J-O-O-S-E, and then, oh, there was, there was Sparks. Do you remember Spark? Oh, balls is disgusting because that one, it that one was like, like balls. <laughs> yeah, no, it's straight. Like, well, it was marketed as like, yeah, this tastes like, uh, like cocaine back drip. And it did not that I know what that tastes like, but it did. I don't even know what that means. That was gross. <laughs> well, like, so like when you do cocaine, I've heard that <laughs> there, that like when you, when you sort it through your nose, uh, like back drip goes in the back of your throat. And you can cool. taste it on your tongue. Yeah. Um, allegedly. Uh, everybody wants. Allegedly, yeah. But, Sounds but so, friendly. but it, it, it and, and it's like, why would you market that? Except clearly to children. You are clearly marketing that to children who are like, yeah, I'm so cool. I get cocaine beer. Actually, I don't even know if it was alcoholic. I think it was just like an energy drink. God, that, that might, I don't know if that makes it better or worse. Yeah, <laughs> but then there's Sparks. You remember Sparks? I remember Sparks. Bubba. Bubba Sparks. Bubba Sparks. Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. Actually, rocking I would totally everywhere. have if they if they ever sold booty sweat and like bust the nut bars, I would totally buy them. That's from GTA, right? <laughs> no, that's from uh, Tropic Thunder. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. It's like, Gotta oh, get that man. booty sweat. <laughs> it's so hot here in this Vietnam jungle. Thank God. I brought along a can of booty sweat and this bust a nut bar too. <laughs> I want some Tropic, booty sweat. Tropic Thunder is actually one of the funniest movies out there. It really is fucking brilliant. It's like a really, really good film it's on not top a of Tower Heist, fun. but it's not bad. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, it is it is no Tower Heist for sure. Oh wait, here's here's a here's a beer for two hundred seventy five dollars per thir three hundred thirty uh, milliliters. Skorskbrals Skorskbrock Bach fifty seven. Oh, right. Skorskbrals Skorskbach Bach. Skorskbrach. All right. So apparently, according to master brewer George Skushner, uh, right, a higher proof <laughs> beer. A higher proof beer than this would violate Germany's 500-year-old beer purity law. Wow. Uh, 115 proof. It is smoky How could it and taste nutty. like beer. Apparently, it is smoky and nutty and hints of raisins. Oh, you give it a, you give it a lick. It tastes just like raisins. Is it a winky? I think so. Yeah, but th that's, I mean, that's tr like, how can a 115 proof beer taste like beer? It doesn't, it can't, it can't taste like beer. It It'll just like taste like vodka liquor. or moonshine or something. Yeah, exactly. It probably tastes like moonshine. Ugh, moonshine's disgusting. Not that I've ever tried it because it's illegal, but man, that shit is gross. That, that proof is like way above anything I've ever had, I think. Yeah, uh, moonshine? No, no, what you just said. What was 115? 115 proof. You never had like a Bacardi 151? Oh, uh, maybe once. One fifty one rum, pineapple juice, and something, 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 Let's something. Some cop Is that yeah, but you super probably, high proof? Uh, I don't think it is actually. But it, it, if you had 
absinthe that was made in America, then it doesn't actually come with wormwood in it, which is the hallucinogenic. It was other from one. another con I think it was from, like, Finland or some crazy thing. Oh, well, if, it, if it's from there, then it's illegal in the United States, and it has wormwood in it. And the wormwood is actually a hallucinogenic. It's, uh, it's LSA, which is the cousin to LSD. And, um... So it, it is it is hallucinogenic alcohol, but it's it's not it's not. You, it, they sell. It didn't do absinthe. anything. It was just liquor. <laughs> you you might then you honestly might have had like a like an American version because the American they, they sell right, absinthe that, in then. America. Yeah, well, because they sell absinthe in America and it just tastes like licorice, which is disgusting. So no, I thought it actually tasted kind of good, but it was a bunch of years ago too, so I don't know. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, it's it's. It's, uh, yeah. I don't like licorice at all. Licorice is disgusting to me, personally. But. I love I you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's all weird. Right. I think it's good. I think we're good. Yeah, yeah. Wrap up the episode. Everybody. Probably right, yeah. Talked all right. about Donkey Kong's family lineage and fucking expensive beer. <laughs> yeah. Who knows with this? We thing. all here love We all lost there. here. That too. We did. We lost. We fucking lost. Mostly right. Rob, though. And he's salty. Yeah, I, I did pretty much lose. I'm sorry, I'm Rob. Salty. I love you. That's, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> but actually, in your comments, I just saw it. Lu Luan Lee goes, going to predict how the magic game does before watching. Nick will screw Rob again, and Rob will be out first. Nick will try to justify his decision only to be the next one out. Green will probably miscalculate the math, and Austin will get really lucky at the end and win it all. Now let's watch and see. <laughs> I hope that that was not, like, a, a joke. Somebody, yeah, joke. somebody called him on and was like, sure, you predicted that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope that he actually did predict it, though. That would be hilarious. <laughs> You know, we but should yeah. make that a regular thing that we read comments from the last one and talk about them because I think that would increase the amount of comments that people leave and also make everybody have a better time. I, I wouldn't Good mind time. that at all, actually. Yeah, that, that would be that'd be pretty fun. So, so the there you go. Just watching, you know, the whole thing. It's... Mm -hmm. First, first time we're gonna make that a thing. You know, for real. Mm -hmm. Like, just leave some comments and we'll probably talk about them then. Yeah, unless it's like fart in my mouth. Actually, no, I'd probably talk about that, and then we could work it out. I'll, I'll probably, I'll probably fart in your mouth. I don't think you'd even have to pay me. I, I would probably just do that for free. Or all of your comments could just be "I love you." That that definitely could be it. That probably is I'm what it's going to be. I'm pretty sure they're not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, surely, surely the comment section of the Magic: The Gathering series is more mature than to make a base joke about things that we talked about in the episode. I mean, come on now. They wouldn't do something like that. You're probably right. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> I love you.